In this video, we'll be checking out the Golem Mate 100 amp hour battery, and we're really going to go and put this to the test. Stay tuned. Hi everybody, welcome back to Random Fix. When Golden Maid reached out to me and asked me if I wanted to try out their 100 amp hour battery, I said, what the heck, let me go ahead and try this out as the unit comes fully assembled. So there's not much I have to really do to go and test this out. And I really do have a need for this as I recently purchased this electrical smoker and it has an electronic heating element. When I try to connect this to my actual AC power at the house, it keeps tripping the GFCI ports. I need something that can actually get this at least hot enough to the point where I can plug this into my household electricity and then use my smoker. So I really am excited to go and try this out. And what I like about the battery so far from the times I have used it is the fact that it's a little bit lighter than one would think. So it has this little strap and you can lift it up with one arm. It's definitely a lot lighter than a lead acid battery. It's got some cool hardware on there, including this little cover that can help you tighten it as well and if you guys are new to these sort of posts just make sure you never over tighten these as you could damage the battery and if you notice there's these little caps you can actually get access to the internal components if you ever need to make a repair you could do that I don't think this battery is ever going to need to be opened up but at least it's your choice and what I like about the battery is that this has low temperature cutoff so if it gets really cold the unit is going to automatically shut the charging portion of the battery down and it's got a BMS built in and the BMS is the battery management system. BMS protects the battery so it will let this battery charge at a maximum of 14.6 volts and you do need a special charger to go and charge these up. Your old school AGM or flood acid battery charge will not charge this as the voltage is too low but there's some real perks to having a higher voltage battery. This is still 12 volts but we'll see the difference when I hook this up to the actual inverter and we turn on that smoker and then you can charge the battery at 20 or 50 amps max it has an operating temperature and a discharge operating temperature and so far i have been using this battery for about a week and i'm really happy with it let's go and show you guys the real benefits of having a lithium iron phosphate battery as it's kind of mind-blowing comparing it to a lead acid battery or even a brand new AGM. To help me with this test, I got my eco-worthy sine wave inverter. I've connected it to the positive here already. If I didn't mention in the backyard, I'm actually getting ready to go and do some solar in the back and I'm going to do it myself. Really looking forward to having all this equipment here. And now I shouldn't have any spark when I touch this. There you go. Love it. I got this all connected and this is the electrical smoker. I'm connecting it and I've connected an amp clamp here as well so we can see how many amps we're using. I'm going to turn the inverter on. Inverter is on. It's currently consuming zero watts. I'm going to turn the smoker on. Smoker is on and the unit automatically shut off because the low voltage protection on this said there's an issue. So that didn't go well. So now you might be thinking, why don't you go ahead and just start your vehicle. Let's go ahead and start the vehicle and we'll try this again. Now the vehicle engine is running. This is a brand new battery right here that I got. It's an AGM battery and it's rated at 80 amp hours. Less than two months old. Engine is running on a bigger V6. Let's try that again. The voltage is dropping steadily. Now it's at 11.8, 11.7 with the engine running. You can hear the engine is really being stressed here. We got 151 amps going into the inverter here, and this is definitely not good for my vehicle. Now I'm gonna show you guys the advantage of the lithium iron phosphate battery instead. Check this out. Voltage is at 11.4. The only reason this is still running is because this eco-worthy sine wave inverter is awesome. And it can handle these lower voltages without any issues. And to keep the equipment from arcing, you can buy these resistors here, and they're very inexpensive. I paid less than five bucks for two of these and you use it on the negative side for a few minutes let it charge up and once it's charged there's not going to be any arcing or sparks i'll leave you guys a link to this in the video description box down below as well as the inverter and anything else that you might find helpful hi everybody if you're enjoying the video on the golden mate lithium iron phosphate battery make sure you guys give the video a thumbs up if there's something that i didn't mention in the video please comment down below so i can incorporate it into a future video if you guys have any stories of your own about such batteries go ahead and share them with me down below i'll be sure to get back to you and if you guys are new to the channel and you want to see more content like this go ahead and hit the subscribe button as well thank you again so if you remember me testing the inverter here on the vehicle with just 
the battery the brand new AGM battery the unit basically shut off within a few seconds and let me show you guys the advantage of the lithium-ion phosphate batteries here and I have the same amp meter hooked up let's go and turn on the unit this is cranked all the way up to the max setting currently the golem mate is putting out 156 amps it's rated at 100 so we're really putting this to the test and if we come to the inverter here we're still putting out over 1500 watts the voltage is definitely holding at 11.4 and i have not charged this battery since i received it and it's really doing great and I like this battery and it's definitely worth the price that they're selling it for. I can't say enough good things about what they're producing here at Golden Mate and I have never previously worked with this company but I think I want to work with them again and get some more of their products for my solar setup and I think if you do the same you will not be disappointed. The BMS has not tripped off 11.4 still the real advantage of the lithium ion phosphate batteries is the way the voltage holds and it only drops towards the very end and that's what I really love about using a lithium ion phosphate battery compared to a lead acid or an AGM battery this is the future and this is the way to go and this is not going to give me any more issues in the future as once these heating elements get seasoned enough times it goes and makes it easier to start in the future the very first couple of times that I actually tried this with the car before I had the golden mate I actually had to rev up the engine for the inverter not to go into low voltage mode so it just shows you the more you use it the less resistance it's going to have and if you were here you can actually see a reddish glow to this and let's check the voltage here 11.45 153 amps out guys this is an amazing battery here if there's anything that you want to see me incorporate into the solar setup please comment down below i will leave you a link for the battery the inverter this very affordable amp clamp here and also, if you guys want a problematic cooker, I'll even leave you guys a link to this as it's a four in one. So basically you can use the electrical part of it. You could put charcoal in here. It's a portable grill and it'll go ahead and stack up four high to go and give you a lot of room to go and smoke some meat. I came to Texas knowing nothing about smokers and now I'm smoking lamb. I've let this run for about five additional minutes and it's still holding the voltage. And the use of the Golden Mate lithium iron phosphate battery has freed me from the need to go and hook up an external dedicated plug that's not GFCI protected and I would have to go in here and start messing with some dangerous wires. So I like the fact that Golden Mate has made a great product. So far this is looking great. It's been about two weeks since I started the initial review and the battery has performed just as well as I showed you guys in the video earlier. And I bought myself a little battery charger that works for 12 and 24 volt systems and does support lithium ion phosphate. And again, I can't say enough things about Golemate. And if there's any questions, please comment down below. And in case you were interested in making your own lithium ion phosphate battery, I'll leave you guys a couple of helpful videos in the video description box down below as well as at the end of the video. But understand that Golden Mate is giving you a completed battery for one heck of a price. And after testing it for one month, I can't go ahead and find any sort of defect with it. And it's done exactly what it's stated to do. And for that, I go ahead and give it a random fix thumbs up. Thank you again.